happily married woman. Or rather, I was until a few weeks ago. This is my whole world. And it's enough. Or rather, it was until a few weeks ago. Can I help you? Uh, oh, no, please, it's only something in my eye. Try pulling your eyelid down as far as it'll go. And then blowing your nose. Please let me look. I happen to be a doctor. That's very kind of you. Oh, turn around to light, please. That's how it all began. Just through me getting a little piece of grit in my eye. Are you going to the pictures this afternoon? Yes. How extraordinary, so am I. I thought you had to be all day at the hospital. Well, between ourselves, I killed two patients by accident this morning, and the matron's very displeased with me. I, I simply don't go back. What's she like, your wife? Madeline? Small, dark, rather delicate. How funny, I just thought she would have been fair. And your husband, what's he like? Medium height, brown hair, kindly, unemotional, and not delicate at all. Now that it was free to love each other, there's too much in the way. There's still time. If we control ourselves and behave like sensible human beings, there's still time. I'm an ordinary woman. I didn't think such violent things could happen to ordinary people. Give us a kiss. Oh, do no such thing. The lady might see us. Come on, a quick one across the bar. Albert, stop it. Come on, there's a lot. Let go of me this minute. There's a lot. Albert! Now look at me, Banbury's all over the floor. I want you to promise me something. What is it? Promise me that however unhappy you are, and however much you think things over, that you'll meet me again next Thursday. Where? Outside the hospital at 12.30. All right, I promise. 